Hi, today we are going to see one more topic from Informatica that is regarding lookup transformation caches. What is lookup cache? Actually when we use the lookup transformation, the lookup data are cached by default in Informatica. This means that Informatica by default brings in the entire data of the lookup table from the database server to the Informatica server as a part of the lookup cache building activity. During the session run, the data will be captured. If the lookup table is too huge, this will take some time. Actually, the integration service creates cache files by default in the directory. That is the cache directory available over here and you can see the cache in this path if you are using the uh, laptop or uh, your uh, desktop system where the Informatica installed you can see that uh, cache in this path and there are different types of caches like available actually what will what is happening is uh, when the session is over the informatica releases the cache and erases the cache files as soon as that that uh, session completes now we are going to see what are all the lookup caches types of lookup caches available in the informatica persistent cache what is the meaning of the persistent persistence means permanent one we can save the lookup cache files and reuse them in the next time the Informatica server process the lookup transformation if it is configured to use the cache. And what is the static cache? The static cache is a read only cache for lookup table. By default, Informatica server creates the static cache. It caches the lookup table and lookup values in the cache for each row that comes into the transformation. If the lookup condition is true, the Informatica server does not update the cache while it processes the lookup transformation. So if you need any updations or deletions, you have to go for the dynamic cache. Static cache is only for read-only read -only purpose. A dynamic cache that means you can insert the new rows into the cache and we can update the already existing rows in the cache that is the different topic we will see it separately and share the cache that means if it is shared uh, between the multiple transactions recache the persistent cache is not synchronized with the lookup table you can configure the lookup transformation to re rebuild the lookup cache this is recache and persistent cache we will see now actually these things are available as a properties in the lookup transformation today we are going to see one simple example to demonstrate how the cache is getting created in the cache directory and we are going to use this tab for lookup transformation that is customer orders this is already available I created in the Oracle database and I think you are familiar with creating the lookup transformation and there is no need to uh, explain how to create the lookup transformation one second just by clicking the icon and selecting the uh, source you can create this lookup transformation and you have to make the necessary changes what are all the properties you need to set for creating the persistent cache I will tell you now there is one property available that is lookup cache persistent make sure that this property is set if you if you have not clicked this one then this that uh, cache file name and recache lookup recache from lookup source won't be available this will be you cannot click it once you if you check it it's automatically be available here we are going to give one file name for this that is C order otherwise system file name will be given there is no need to worry but in real time environment if there is more number of cache files then it will be confusing for you so 
better you give one cache file name here i have given as c order and i have checked this one recache from the lookup source so that when there is any change in the lookup table it will refresh it refresh the cache actually otherwise cache won't be get refreshed and it will give the uh, wrong result so we need to check this recache from the lookup source then you have to click ok these are all the dummy only i am having it just for demonstrating this property only i have created the lookup cache I will show you in the cache directory path how the cache files are getting created. Then we will run this first. Okay. Already I have created the workflow and uh, I assume that uh, you know how to create workflow and session task. Just I will start it. Here you can see how the cache is getting created. See? These are all the cache files created in the cache directory. That is the default cache directory. And the time is around 3 o'clock. Okay. These data file index files will be created in the cache directory. That will be the permanent one. Okay. And you can also uh, you can also see in the session log how it is getting created then this is the query actually you can go through the session log where uh, how that uh, caches are getting created okay. here all information will be logged Okay, this is for just demonstrating what is the what are all the properties that is available in the uh, lookup transformation. We will see about the dynamic cache in the coming session. Thanks. Bye.